Nvidia does more than make GPUs. The company also has a suite of software features that you can try and use to record your gameplay. My name is Yadullah, you are watching Candid.Technology and in this video we are talking about what to do when the Nvidia overlay isn't working. Now the first thing that you should check when uh, Nvidia's overlays start causing problems is whether or not it's enabled in the first place. To do that, just press the start key and search for GeForce Experience. Press enter to bring it up. And then click on this settings menu icon right next to your username. We'll give it a second to load everything up. All right, so as you can see, the in-game overlay toggle is disabled in my settings. So make sure that this is enabled. Uh, it will ask you for some permissions, likely, and uh, we'll have to give it a second to enable and start any processes related with the overlay. And once uh, this is complete, like you said, then you can press Alt and Z to access uh, the in-game overlay, record your gameplay, share it or adjust settings. You can also adjust settings right from this um, window here where there's this settings button and this opens up uh, the layout for you so that you can see that everything is working fine. The next step is to make sure that you're on the latest drivers possible. So once again, open up GeForce Experience and head over to the drivers window. Now, as you can see, I already have the latest uh, GeForce game ready drivers installed, but uh, just for good measures, click on the check for updates button. And as you can see, a small check will run. I have the latest drivers, you may or may not. So make sure that you get the latest drivers installed and running on your system before trying again. The next step is that sometimes GeForce experience may cause issues because it's not running with administrator privileges. In order to run the gameplay overlay and some other features, it needs admin access to your PC. So to do that, just press the start menu, uh, open the start menu and search for GeForce experience. And then just click on this add as administrator button. And this will launch the app as an administrator on your PC. Now, if you don't want to do this or every time you launch GeForce Experience, just click on the open file location button. Uh, this will open up this shortcut. We will right click this and click properties. In compatibility options, just check this box uh, that says run this program as an administrator. Click apply and you'll be good to go. Next up, let's talk about experimental features. So. Uh, let me just quickly open GeForce Experience here for you. So once GeForce Experience opens up, we're going to head over to our settings and you will see this small checkbox that says enable experimental features. Now this may or may not update the GeForce Experience uh, UI itself. So be aware of that before you start uh, or before you enable this feature. What it does is that at times some features may not function because you may not have the required updates for them for GeForce Experience itself, not your GPU drivers. So uh, enabling this box lets you access those features and can help if the Nvidia overlay isn't working as expected. The next step is to keep in mind that there are several other overlays that automatically activate themselves when you install certain programs on Windows. For starters, there is the Windows uh, Xbox overlay that shows up when you press Windows key plus G. Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's this entire overlay. So uh, there is this, there is a Discord overlay, and then any other screen recording apps may have their own overlays as well. All of these overlays can conflict with each other, causing a problem that may not let GeForce show its own overlay. So make sure that all other overlays are disabled before you try and get the GeForce overlay running. Next up, let's repair our Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable files. These are files used by a lot of programs on your PC and if they're corrupted, a lot of programs can also stop working. Now to do that, we'll press, uh, we'll open the start menu and search for control panel. Okay, now we are going to find uh, our programs in this. So just give me a second. Yes, programs and features. 
uh, give this list some time to load as it will bring up everything that's installed on your PC. So it can take a minute to load properly. All right, now that it has loaded, I will scroll all the way down and you will see a bunch of uh, Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables installed. Ignore any redistributables that are older than 2008. Uh, and in this case, I will just go straight to the 2015 to 2022 redistributable. I'm on a 64-bit system, so I'll select the 64-bit variant. Let me just increase this window size so you can see the names clearly. Wow, we lost it. Yeah, uh, right click it and then click change or you can also click the change button here and then click repair in the wizard that pops up. Follow the instructions along and this will repair the visual C++ redistributable installation on your system and hopefully resolve the error. Last but not least, if nothing else works, reinstalling GeForce Experience itself is your best bet. To do this, press Windows key plus X uh, for the quick access menu and click on installed apps. We'll give this a second to load up. All right, now I'm going to search for GeForce. GeForce Experience. Oh, wow, made a spelling mistake. Yeah. Right click the uh, click these three dots and click uninstall. It will ask you for a confirmation. Click uninstall again and wait for the process to complete. Once it's done, you can head over to NVIDIA's website and download the GeForce Experience client again, install it and set it up properly. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.